Hello awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Today we're looking at something different, not Acid Rain. I managed to pick up today um, four sets from a more difficult to get line. An older line. This is from the Army of Darkness. So here we have Knight and Denight Pikeman. This is the 118 scale. I can see that. Uh, very nice packaging. Movie picture on the back. Other figures in the range. You can see already from the figure and the front articulation is not going to be great, but they are nice looking figures. In fact, look at the back, it shows you all the figures there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and eight. I managed to get all eight of them today, which is nice. There's a Bruce Campbell Ash figure there. So this one is Hero Ash and Did I Scouts. Looks quite nice again. Uh, next one is the Deadite and Deadite Foot Soldier. So if you like your undead army, your fantasy stuff, this 118 scale stuff is really nice. And then the last set I got was the Pit Witch, which is rather disgusting looking, and Deadite Centurion. And again, they come with a nice bunch of uh, fantasy accessories. You go into your Vituvian hacks stuff. This is a nice sort of line to go. The poseability, I can see already, articulation is not going to be great, but they do look rather good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open these. I'll be back in one minute. Okay, they are all out of their boxes. They'll probably fall out when I turn them up. So there's what's fallen out there. A couple of swords have fallen out there. Let's move these ones to the side and look at those in a moment. Okay, so swords have fallen out, there's a what else? Axe has fallen out. Everything else has got to be taken out individually. Okay, so swords get the dead eye out. The feet bases. Soldier, uh, some tape to cut on this knife here. And out that pops. And the protection when you're doing a medieval style. Okay. So let's have a look at this first of all. Um, quite nice. Good colouring with weathering, which is unusual. Not much additional paintwork needed unless you wanted to paint the ropes here, which aren't. Painted and the wheels turn. That's actually quite nice. So let's have a look at our deadite. Um, head goes up, down, uh, left and right a little bit. Shoulders go out, come forward. Arms bend. There is wrist swivel and arm swivel, which is nice. The legs do go outwards, which is a surprise. But tut tut tut. There's no paint there, or it suffers from paint rub, which is a shame. Uh, Knees have a single bend, not double bend, but it's still quite a good angle. And you can turn the thighs, and there is no articulation on the ankles, which would be a problem for standing up. And the waist does turn, but, and flex slightly forwards and backwards. So for posing and standing up, a bit more difficult without the flexation in the ankles, but you do have the feet bases which you can use, which is nice to have. We don't have any flexation available in the ankle. Okay, okay not a bad looking figure. Looks a bit grim. Let's get a close up on that. Great addition to your 118 scale sort of zombies and undead. Nice little figure. Uh, let's look at the other figure. He has shoulders so yeah, he has this limited up, limited up and down on the shoulders, forwards, backwards, no elbow bend, um, head up, down, left, right. Head does come off. I don't want to risk it. It looks very brittle and I'm going to break it. Legs forwards, backwards. There is a knee bend, which is nice. Very limited articulation, nothing in the... Oh yes, waist does have a little bit of forwards and backwards. 
and a little bit left and right. Uh, quite nice looking. Uh, still got a bit of weathering. You could probably ink that a little bit, make it look better. But it does look rather nice though. Nice effect with the armour. Especially the hat, the helmet rather. You may want to dry brush the chest plate, the breastplate. To make it a little more metallic. Again, without the ankle flexation, difficult to stand up unless you use the foot base that comes uh, with it. Nice looking figure. So, the accessories we have the protection, I forgot the name of this, so I'm sorry, but that looks quite nice. Uh, we get two swords, very nice looking swords there. We can see get an axe which is slightly bent but it's okay. Nice looking axe, and we get the dagger and the two foot plates. Okay, quite a nice set. I'll move those to the side. Let's look at the next one. Let's just grab the nearest one. That's the one in front. That's the one of Ash and the is that, did I commander maybe or scout? It was like the commander. Okay, what drops out? Nothing. Yeah, let's get the figures out first. Okay, so let's look at Ash. Hero Ash. Okay, Ash with his metal hand. Uh, not the best sculpt. Head does go left and right. Okay. Up and down, barely. Shoulders out and up, good. Arms bend, fantastic. There is wrist and arm swivel, which is good. There's nothing on the waist apart from left and right. Uh, hips don't go out, just forwards backwards, so they do turn on the thigh. Um, oh, it does go out, but it's not on the ball, it's in the joint. Okay, there's no, again, ankle flexation. It's not a bad figure, all things considered. He's got his metal hand there, so he can use him for sci-fi as well. Now, he does have a couple of slots on his back. Not quite sure what fits in there, but I'll look later. Let's give you a close up. Is that Bruce Campbell? Not the best representation, but it is a small scale, so we can forgive. I'll show you those joints. And it looks like a, a T joint on the leg, but actually, if you look there, his legs do come out. Not a bad figure. Okay, the next one. This one is the skeleton, he does look really nice actually. Uh, he has left and right on the head again. Uh, better up and down. Arms limited outwards. I'll be going to try that. There's no bending the elbows. They do come forward and backwards. Uh, comes in and out a little bit too. Because the joint is a little bit like a ball joint, but not quite. Okay. Uh, there's knee bend. Hips come forwards. Left in the ankle. The cloak and armour doesn't appear to go. You could take them off. You can get the head off and take the arms out. This can come off, but I would not be wanting to try that because it would probably break these figures. They don't look as sturdy as the boss fight studio ones. But it's again a nice look of figure which you could touch up with some paint, which I'll probably be doing at a later time. Very nicely, that will go with your undead skeleton figures. Nice looking figure. Uh, the accessories, okay, I'm going to need my scissors to cut a bit of tape here and here. So we have this uh, pike, yep, nice looking, effective, great to have that in 118 scale. We have a cloak, which I'm assuming is for ash, there we go. Again, that would be compatible with loads of your 118 scale figures. We have the, oh, the books. That one's in very, very tightly. What's this one here? This is another book. Oops, I think that popped out. Uh, there's a shield. There is a shotgun. Cut that out there. Uh, there is a, aha, that makes sense now. There is a holster for the shotgun, and that is what connects to Ash's back. So that is a nice touch. That will just slot on there, 
and his shotgun can just go in the back there. That is actually very, very nice detail. Let me get that in nice and secure. Okay. That's nice. Uh, shotgun, basic, double barrel. Looks quite nice, not bad. Uh, the shield, uh, simple weathering, you probably dry brushed out with a bit of silver, a bit more gold, make it look more effective. And maybe something inside. And then you have the books. This one here has got some print on. Chemistry, oh yes. The chemistry book he used in the movie, but it'd be very difficult to read that, I'd imagine. And the camera. Then the book, the Necronomodum, I forget. With the face and that bites him and so forth. Again, a little bit of dry brushing with this, with a sort of brown, perhaps with a touch of wet red would look really nice. Maybe it's a bit too dark to see there. Uh, not bad accessories all in all, especially with the shotgun f going onto the holster at the back. That is a nice set. Let's go to the uh, next closest one. This is the one with the this one, the soldier and the device. So you get a medieval looking soldier. See what pops out. The axe pops out. Let's uh, do his deadite first with his uh, pipe, a bit bent. Okay, so these again have limited uh, articulation. Head will go left and right easily, but not tiny up and down. Arms come up a little. There's no bend in the elbows. They do come forwards and they go out and in because there's a small, tiny ball joint. It looks really quite weak, so I'd be careful in doing that. Uh, his waist section really limit his leg movement because that is really quite heavy plastic. I might push that up a little bit. Might even move up. There we go. One side up. Okay. Now get some more movement in his legs. Waist again. There is a tiny bit of waist movement but it is a nice looking figure. You may want to dry brush this chain mail he's got with chain mail or a silver because it looks just very rubbery but the actual uh, cast, the actual figure itself, the sculpt is nice okay, uh, the wrist one turns one doesn't, okay let's have a look I think this will be a project for me, adding a bit of paint to these, probably take about 20 minutes, half an hour, a figure if that, and it makes such a huge difference to the way they look. Uh, let's look at these accessories that popped out. Uh, this is the same as the axe that came with another set, I believe. Can I find an axe now? Let's have a look. Axe, axe, where are you, Mr. Axe? Okay, uh, yeah, same as the other axe that came in another set. Yeah, it's still quite nice to have another one. Uh, pike, a bit bent, just thrown out with a bit of hot water, I think, but looks nice, more like a howl beard, I guess, but quite nice to have it in 118 scale. Uh, we have a sword and dagger, same as the other dagger. No, this dagger is different. Let's get that out, and the sword is same as one of the other swords, so we've seen that already, but a dagger is slightly different. Nice looking dagger they so imagine that being a sort of assassin's dagger maybe. Or maybe a a lady has it in her garter under her dress of self-defense. Okay. Uh, let's look at the other figure. He is a nice looking figure, this man at arms. Very nice looking figure. I love the head sculpt, but I haven't painted a little bit of it. Uh, there is there is a turn actually on his head. The problem is this rubber chainmail part on the top prevents him from turning his head. It sort of puts it back a little bit, but it does move a little bit. The armour looks nice, his arms do come out, they do come forwards, they do bend. It's a single elbow joint, not a double elbow joint. Or is it a double? Let's have a look. No, he does have double elbows. Fantastic. Um he does look really nice. Double elbows on Hmm, this one is going once on both sides, but this is a strange one. It gives him like his arms broken. Um, 
Same as Ash, his legs go out with that funny gap there and there. But it works. Legs, do they turn a little bit? Double bend on the knees. And he does have ample ankle flexation. Fantastic. He is the star of the show for articulation. Easier to stand by himself because the ankles can be flexed and moved. Uh, very nice looking figure to get a close up for you guys on him there. The armour looks really nice. There'll be no work needed in that or minimal work. Uh, maybe got his leg parts, not quite silver enough there. But he's a very nice looking figure. Just a bit of inking to the hands, I think, a bit of dry brush in there. A bit of silver you see underneath his helmet. As you can see, there's a ridge of flesh which should be silver, just up by his nose. But other than that, this is a really nice figure. This is the best figure of the bunch by far, so far, considering the articulation as well. But very nice. Uh, anything else? Oh, yes, we have two more shields. And then we have the obligatory bases for the figure. Uh, shield one. Yeah, that's okay. You could do something with that, a bit of painting on that, particularly on the reverse side where it's got no painting. Uh, shield 2, nice on the front side, but again the reverse side just looks like a piece of plastic. And the foot bases, that leaves one more set to look at before we finish this review, what's going to drop out. Uh, axe, slightly different I can see, it's got a pattern on the blade there, it looks quite nice. Uh, let's pop out our foot bases first, don't need to see those. Uh, two daggers, we've seen this dagger before. It's the same one from the last one, there's two of those which is nice to get the extra accessories. There's a new shield, it's got a bit of a bend in but it's a bit lopsided, it looks okay. I'll have to paint that again and make that look more realistic, looks just a bit like a rubber flying sword at the moment, but it's alright. Uh, two swords, have we seen these swords before? We've seen, let's have a look. These are both new, no, one new sword. This one here is more like a Greek or Roman sword, which is nice into the Vitruvian hacks. To do that handle there, that's a far nicer one. And then the other one we've seen already, which is similar, but it's got the different handle on the back here. Okay, that leaves the two figures. Let's look at the kit, which first of all, uh, quite nice with the chains. Nice effect. It's actually quite a scary mould, if I'm on uh, sculpt, sorry, the face. Uh, head does move, but restricted by her hair. Up and down a little bit too. Arms do come out. They bend, single bend, they turn. Good for like casting spells. Uh, quite effective use of the arms moving and a rope staying. Still does turn the waist a little bit. Legs do move very slightly. Do they come outwards? They do come outwards. But there's no ankle flexation, and knees do bend on a single joint. This is a pretty terrifying looking figure, if I'm honest. But the paint is already rubbing off on my hands here, so I can see it on the paper. But it's a nice, well, I say nice, it's a scary looking figure. Definitely one for your, your undead. It's nice having the metal chains too. What's actually rubbing off is some of the paint from the chains, where they painted like the cloves colour onto the chains. Uh, nice looking figure, pretty good paint job, nice sculpt, quite scary looking. And then the last one is this Dead Eye again. This is a pretty nice looking one. Uh, again, nice left and right in the head, up and down, pretty good. No helmet come off. His arms do come up, which is nice. He's got the elbow bend this time, fantastic. Uh, he's got the swivel on the wrists and on the arms. On both sides. Legs come out, great. Knees bend, legs twist, nothing on the ankles, but he is a nice looking figure. Okay, let's have a look at that.
So, all in all, these are actually quite nice figures. Uh, they won't have the articulation you're after if you're into Boss Fight Studio, Vitruvian Hags, or into Acid Rain, or, you know, those sort of high 